Hello guys, welcome to Macout Smashers and also welcome to our video on cyber security. So in today's digital world, cyber security is the more crucial than ever. Whether you are a tech enthusiast or budding a professional, understanding cyber threats and how to counter them in network is essential. In this video, we will explore the fundamentals of cyber security, delve into the various types of cyber threats and discover the tools and techniques to protect ourselves online. We will also discuss the best practices, legal and ethical aspects and examine the real world example to learn from. By the end, you will have a solid foundation to navigate the complex landscape of cyber security. So let's get started. So at first, what is cyber security? Cyber security is a practice of protecting the systems, networks and programs from digital attacks. These cyber attacks are usually aimed at accessing, changing or destroying the sensitive information, extorting money from users or interrupting the normal business processes. Implementing the effective cyber security measures is particularly challenging today because there are some more devices than people and attackers are becoming more innovative. Critical aspects of cyber security include the application security, information security, network security, disaster recovery, and end user education. Cyber threats can come from various sources, including the cyber criminals, nation state, hack visit, and insider, insider threats. Organizations must adopt a multi layered approach to cyber security to ensure the defense in depth. This includes deploying the firewalls, antivirus software, intrusion detection system, and regular updates and patches for software. Furthermore, training employees to recognize the phishing attacks and practice the good cyber hygiene is crucial. As technology evolves, so do the tactics of cyber attackers necessitating the continuous adoption and improvement of cyber security practices. The ultimate goal is to create a secure environment where data and systems are safe from un unauthorized access and disruption. So now it is time to discuss about the basics of cyber security. Cyber security involves several the fundamental terminologies and concepts essential for protecting the digital environment. Threats. This refers to the potential dangers that can exploit the vulnerabilities to cause harm to system or data. Vulnerabilities are the weakness or flaws in a system that can be exploited by threats to gain the unauthorized access. Risk is a potential for loss or damage when a threat exploits a vulnerability. Malware short for malicious software this include the viruses worms trojans and ransomware designed to harm and exploit the devices networks or services phishing involves tricking the individuals into providing the sensitive information typically through depictive emails or websites firewalls it acts as a barrier between the trusted and untrusted network, controlling the incoming and outgoing traffic based on the security rules. Encryption It is a process of converting the data into a coded form to prevent the unauthorized access. Intrusion Detection System IDS. It monitors the networks for suspicious activities and potential threats. Authentication ensures that only authorized users gain access to the system through methods like password, biometric or multi-factor authentication. Patch management it involves regularly updating the software to fix the vulnerabilities and improve the security. End user education is crucial for training the individual to recognize and respond to cyber security threats effectively. Understanding these basics are vital for developing the robust cyber security practices to safeguard the digital assets. So now we will discuss about the cyber threats or types of cyber threats. Okay. So cyber threats come in various forms, each posing the unique risk in digital security. Malware. 
It is a broad category of malicious software that includes the viruses, worms, trojans, and ransomware, designed to damage, disrupt, or gain un unauthorized access to computer systems. Phishing involves fraudulent attempts, usually via email, to steal sensitive information like usernames, password, and credit card details. Okay, as a trustworthy entity. Denial of services (DOS) and distributed denial of services (DDoS) attacks overwhelm a system's resources, making it unavailable to its intended user. Man in the middle attacks occur when the attacker intercepts and potentially alters the communications between two parties without their knowledge. SQL injection. It is also a type of attack that exploits the vulnerabilities in a web application to execute the malicious SQL command, compromising the databases. Zero-day exploits target the software vulner vulnerabilities that are unknown to the vendor, leaving the system unprotected. Some advanced persistent threats involve prolonged and targeted attacks where the intruders remain undetected while extracting the data over an extended period. Inside a threat steam from employees or associate who have legitimate access but misuse it to harm the organization. Botnets are networks of compromised computers controlled by attackers to perform the large scale malicious activities. Ransomware that encrypts a victim's data demanding the payment for the decryption key. Spyware. It secretly monitors the user's activity, collecting the user's behavior to target the ads. Understanding this threat is crucial for implementing the effective cybersecurity measures. It is time to discuss about the cybersecurity tools and technologies that are essential for protecting the digital environment against the various threats. Firewalls are the fundamental security device that monitor and control the incoming and outgoing network traffic based on the predetermined security rules. Antivirus software detects the and detect and removes the malicious software to prevent the infection and damage. Intrusion detection system or IDS and the intrusion prevention system or IPS monitor the network traffic for suspicious activity and can block or mitigate the detected threats. Encryption techniques ensure that the data is encountered and only accessible to authorized users, protecting the sensitive information in transit and at rest. Multi-factor auth authentication MFA, adds an extra layer of security by requiring the multiple forms of verification before granting access. Patch management It involves the regularly updating the software to fix the security vulnerabilities and protect against exploits. Vulnerability scanners identify the weaknesses in the system and network allowing for protective remediation. Security information and event management systems collect and analyze the security data from the multiple sources to detect and respond to incidents. Penetration testing. It simulates the cyber attacks to evaluate and the effectiveness of cyber security measures and the identify areas for improvement. Backup and recovery solution. It ensures that the data can be restored in case of a cyber incident, minimizing the downtime and data loss. End user training educates the employees on recognizing and responding to cyber threats, enhancing the overall security posture. These tools and techniques collectively form a comprehensive approach to the cyber security, safeguarding the digital assets from a wide range of threats. So now it is time to discuss about the hackers and the cyber crimes in cyber security. So hackers and cyber crimes are the central concern in the field of cyber security, posing the significant risk to individuals, organizations and governments. Hackers and individuals are groups with advanced computer skills who exploit the vulnerabilities in system for various purposes, often categorized as black hat means malicious, white hat means ethical or grey hat, a mix of both. Black hat hackers engage in cyber crimes such as stealing the data spreading the malware and disrupting the services for personal gain to cause harm. Cyber crimes encompasses a wide range of illegal activities connected through the digital means including the identity threat, 
theft, the financial fraud, intellectual property theft, and cyber crime. Phishing and spear phishing attacks are common methods used by hackers to deceive the individuals into relieving sensitive information. Ransomware attacks encrypt the victim's data and demand the payment for the decryption key, causing the significant financial and operational damage. Distributed denial of services, radio waves attacks, flood systems with traffic rendering them inoperable and causing disruptions. Social engineering attacks or tactics exploit the human psychology to manipulate the individuals into breaking the security protocols. Okay. So combating hackers and cyber crimes requires robust cyber security measures and continuous monitoring and awareness training to mitigate the risk and the protect against the evolving threats. So now it is time to discuss about the ethical hacking and social engineering in cyber security. Ethical hacking and social engineering are critical concepts in cyber security, each playing distinct roles in protecting and testing the digital environments. Ethical hacking performed by the white hat hackers involves the authorized attempts to penetrate the system and networks to identify and fix the security vulnerabilities before malicious actors can exploit them. Ethical hackers can use various tools and techniques such as penetration testing and vulnerability assessment to simulate the cyber attacks and evaluate the effectiveness of security measures. Their work helps organizations strengthen their defenses, comply with regulatory requirements and protect the sensitive data. On the other hand, social engineering is the manipulation traffic used by cyber criminals to trick individuals into revealing the confidential information or performing the actions that compromise the security. Techniques like phishing, pretexting, baiting, delegating exploit the human psychology rather than technical vulnerabilities. Ethical hackers often use the social engineering in their assessment to highlight the importance of user awareness and training. By understanding how social engineering attacks work, organizations can better educate their employees to recognize and resist such attempts. Both ethical hacking and social engineering underscore the multifaceted nature of cyber security, which means it requires a combination of technical expertise, vigilance, and proactive measures to define against both technological and human centered threats okay so now it is time to discuss about the cyber forensics and auditing in cyber security cyber forensics and auditing are integral parts or components of cyber security focusing on investigating the incidents and ensuring the compliance with the security policies and regulations cyber forensics involves the collection analysis and preservation of digital evidence to investigate the cyber crimes and security breaches. Forensic experts use a specialized tools and techniques to examine the data from computers, networks, and other digital devices, reconstructing the events to understand the how an attack occurred and identifying the perpetrators. So this process is crucial for legal proceeding as it provides the necessary evidence to prosecute the cyber criminals. Cyber auditing, on the other hand, is a systematic evaluation of an organization, organization's cyber security policies, procedures, and controls. Auditors assess the effectiveness of security measures, ensuring the compliance with the industry standards and regulations, and identifying the areas for improvement. Regular audits help organizations to maintain the robust security postures mitigate the risk and ensure the integrity and confidentiality of their data. Both cyber forensics and auditing contribute to a comprehensive cyber security strategy by not only addressing the incidents when they occur, but also by proactively preventing the potential vulnerabilities and ensuring that best practices are followed. Together, they enhance the, an organization's ability to respond to and recover from cyber incidents while maintaining a strong security framework.
So now it is time to discuss about the cyber law and ethics. These are the foundational to the framework of cyber security, governing how information and technology are used and protected in the digital age. Cyber law encompasses the legal status and regulations that address the behavior of the individuals and organizations in cyber space. It includes the laws related to data protection, privacy, and intellectual property, cyber crimes, and electronic transactions. These laws are essential for establishing the legal boundaries, protecting the citizens' rights, and ensuring the accountability in the digital realm. Ethics in cyber security it involves the moral principles guiding the behavior of the professionals and users in cyberspace. Ethical considerations are crucial for maintaining the trust, the integrity, and the fairness in the handling of data and the deployment of security measures. Cybersecurity professionals are expected to adhere to, to a code of ethics that promotes the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of information while respecting the privacy and individual rights. Issues such as ethical hacking, responsible, the disclosure of vulnerabilities and ethical use of surveillance technology highlight the importance of balancing the security needs with ethical considerations. So understanding the cyber law and ethics is vital for developing the policies and the practices that not only protect the digital assets but also uphold the principles of justice and respect for human rights in an increasingly interconnected world. So at the end of the video, thank you for joining us on this journey cyber security. We have covered a lot of ground today from the basics to advanced practices. Remember staying informed and vigilant is a key to protecting yourself in the digital world. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content. Feel free to leave your questions or thoughts in the comments below. I have loved to hear from you. For further learning, check out the resources link in the description. Stay safe online and see you in the next video. Until then, keep exploring and keep learning.